we're almost there. The last step is to actually carry out the cut and paste. So cutting and pasting from this frame to the frame on the screen over here. And that's done inside the object in our sprite arrow.java under the draw. And here you can see we define our source rectangle using the coordinates we've just calculated. So our source X position and Y position, top left, X, Y. And the bottom right is uh, your widths and heights added to these coordinates. And the same for the destination where uh, creating a rectangle, top left X and Y, bottom right X and Y, plus the widths and the heights of your destination frame. And here's where you carry out the copy and paste. Copy and paste. This is the uh, canvas dot draw bitmap. First argument is the sprite sheet. Then it's your source rectangle, destination rectangle, and uh, let's hit save and run. See what happens. Here's our application and hit the icon and nothing happened. I have no idea how much I just panicked. Um, I did a test run just before I started to record and I'll show you where I went wrong. Very simple to fix. We'll just close that emulator. If we go back into activities sprite sheet 001.layout, where we're calling um, our sprite arrow draw, we've called it outside of uh, our unlock canvas and post. So we'll just copy and we'll cut and paste that, cut that, paste that into the proper position. And while we're in here, I also spotted a few other things. Uh, the delta D calculation here, it should be nine zeros. And I checked a few, I checked a few other things because uh, panic quite a bit. I'd like to put the physics rate up to 60. And the, this is in the game loop. And the frames per second, five is a bit jerky. So I'll put 15 frames per second. And if we save that, and if we run it, we should see something much nicer. Here's our application. And if we do the same again, go into that activity. We have our sprite moving diagonally. And when it hits the wall, it should bounce back. Excellent. Let's come out of that, back in again. And you can see it's only showing the first frame. Bounces again, shows the first frame and goes off. That's, uh, yeah, so it's, we've only got it working down this left column. Great relief to see that working. Uh, and in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to animate across. Thanks for watching. <laughs>